www.alinamonmoon.com Chapter 58 and 59 Total of 126 chapters Book Name The Sign on Moon Has Been Revealed Islam Will Take Over the World Chapter 58 and 59 Holy Prophet Muhammad and all his holy twelve successors name mentioned in Bible by name and Ali name on moon. The Talmud Jewish religious book conveys that Jewish religious forerunner Rabbi Akiva debated for the attachment of Song of Songs in the list of the Hebrew Bible by saying that if all the other books of the Bible are viewed as holy, then Song of Songs must be regarded the holiest of the holy. Book Megillah 7a. Rabbi Akiva has additionally said, the entire creation achieved its highest importance only on the day when the Song of Songs was given to Israel. Bible Songs of Songs, poem of poems in Hebrew called Shahar Shurim. 5:10-16. His mouth most sweet ye, he altogether Mohammedim. This my beloved, and this my friend. O daughters of Jerusalem. The Hebrew word read as Mohammedan appears once in Bible, in holy of holiest scripture called Songs of Songs, poem of poems She'ir Hashirim 516. The word Mohammedan is translated into English as desirable or lovely by translators of Bible and not used in its original form of Mohammedan. Name Muhammad is added with the expression of him which makes it plural in meaning in Hebrew language. In Hebrew language the word im is not added for respect as some ignorant Muslims have remarked, one the contrary Hebrew word im implies plurality to which it is added to. The word im is not only found in Hebrew language but also in Arabic language as in very common expression of the word Muslim. One can clearly see that the word Muslim contain him. In the end, the Arabic word Muslim containing him can be used in both singular and plural form. A good example of this is the expression Muslim community or Muslim Alma. Bible Songs of Songs, poem of poems in Hebrew called Shahar Shurim. 516 Bible is not declaring one Muhammad but many Muhammads since the expression of im is added after the name of Muhammad. Bible Songs of Songs is using the Hebrew and Arabic word kulu before Muhammadim. Hebrew and Arabic word kulu means all together, all in all, in sum. Kulu Muhammadim translated from Hebrew means all together all Muhammads making it clear to everyone that all Muhammads are united. Is it not strange that Jews, Christian and Sunni Muslims are claiming that songs of songs Shi'ir Hashirim 516 are linked to their religion? How can the many Muhammads be linked to Jews, Christian or Sunni Muslims? Jews and Christian do not recognize Prophet Muhammad as a prophet representing their religion. In their pains they make every effort to distance themselves from the name of Prophet Muhammad, yet the name is present in Bible in plural form. Sunni Muslims recognize only one Muhammad. How can one Muhammad be cognizant with many Muhammads expressed in Bible songs of songs, poem of poems in Hebrew called Shir Ha Shirim? 5:10-16. The only and unique religious creed that is familiar with many Muhammads is Shia Muslims. Shia Muslims acknowledge all twelve Imams in the family of Muhammad as Muhammads, Imar Mali said. The first one of us is Muhammad, the middle one of us is Muhammad, the last one of us is Muhammad and all Kalo of us are Muhammad. So do not differentiate between us. If we will be doing a matter, Allah wills it and if we dislike it Allah dislikes it. The veil deepest layer of hell and all its torment is for those who reject our virtues. Book by Hara Lanwa, Volume 26, P1 Holy Prophet Muhammad said, I am the Prince of Apostles, Ali is the Prince of Successors, 
After me there will be twelve successors, the last shall be Al-Madi. After Holy Prophet Muhammad all those who replace him must be like Muhammad. All Muhammads must be in existence before the creation of universe, all of them must be Allah's light, Allah's eyes, Allah's hands, Allah's face, Allah's tongue, Allah's will, Allah's decision, Allah's knowledge and Allah's authority on earth. If they are not all Muhammads in essence there is no justification to follow them. The only thing which changes is the title, Holy Prophet Muhammad will be called the last prophet, the seal of all prophets, the Holy Prophet's successors will be called Imams. If one takes water from the sea and puts in fourteen different chambers, one can give all fourteen chambers different names but still in essence all of them will contain water. Then the expression will be the first one of us is water, the middle one of us is water, the last one of us is water and all color of us are water. Bible songs of songs, poem of poems in Hebrew called Shahar Shurim is an ancient holy script that prophesies and gives evidence of many Muhammads. As shown the word Kolo have been used in the Bible songs of songs as Kolo Muhammadim. Kolo. In Hebrew and Arabic language have the same meaning. Kolo. In Hebrew and Arabic means all, altogether. Kolo. Have also been used by Imam Ali when he said. Kolo. Na Muhammad. Every one of us is Muhammad. The expressions of Kolo, connected to name Muhammad have been used two times in history of mankind in the Bible Songs of Songs, and by Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib. Bible Songs of Songs, poem of poems in Hebrew called Shahar Shurim, has most equivalently, most beautifully, most gorgeously, most stunningly, most dearly, most sincerely, most pleasantly described Holy Prophet Muhammad and his twelve holy successors by expressing them as Kalo, Muhammadim. Hebrew language was a so-called dead language for two thousand years. Hebrew language revival began in year 1881 in Europe. Hebrew language revival documents show that it was based on Arabic language since all DNA letters could be found there. Had Arabic language not existed in original form as it exists today Hebrew artificial language revival after 2000 years would be impossible today. Many Arabic words was taken by Hebrew makers and made a part of the new artificial Hebrew language. One good example is the Arabic Islamic salutation called Salam. Artificial Hebrew language makers changed it to Shalom. There are hundreds of Arabic words that the new artificial Hebrew language makers changed. Artificial Hebrew language makers changed these Arabic words so it could be some kind of distance and dissimilarity between Arabic and the new Hebrew language created. Hebrew language revival in Europe continent tells the truth of the Hebrew language that exists today. Hebrew language revival is called a miracle but that only half truth because there are no parameters after 2000 years that could verify its genuineness. If a dead person rises from his death after a week it could be called a miracle because it could be verified. But if a dead language comes to life after 2000 years there is none to verify it because all verifiers have been dead for 2000 years. Therefore it is a miracle in itself that the Hebrew language revival is called a miracle when there are none to verify the miracle. Arabs were not expelled like Jews from their lands to live among foreign language individuals that added sounds that were not used in original Hebrew. Different nations did not corrupt their Arabic speech. Therefore they have preserved accurate phonology of Hebrew because they have continuously pronounced it. Some people with little knowledge of Hebrew and Arabic language would claim that the name pronounced Muhammadan do not exist in the Bible songs of songs. Their claim is that the name is not pronounced as Muhammad but Mchmdim, Makamadim or Mukmadim. This claim is often used by Ashkenazi Jews and ignorant extreme Christians. 
The word Ashkenazi straightforwardly means German Jew but then it actually speaks of Jews descending from Europe. Ashkenazi Jews use Ashkenazi Hebrew complete new and modern version of the original and ancient Hebrew. Ashkenazi Hebrew called Yiddish is a Germanic language with elements of Hebrew and Aramaic, Turkic languages, Slavic languages and traces of Romance languages is included in Yiddish Ashkenazi Hebrew. When spoken it sounds like German dialectally. Yiddish phonology resembles to of that of normal German. The letter Het Hebrew is realized and pronounced as CH by an Ashkenazi Jew and not Het as pronounced in Old Hebrew. Therefore when an Ashkenazi Jew read Muhammadim in Bible he or she will read it as Mchmdim, Makamadim or Mukmadim. How can an Ashkenazi Jew descending from Europe speaking a European language Yiddish pronounce Muhammadim in ancient Hebrew right? Mizrahi Jews refers to Jews descending from the Middle East, North Africa, Central Asia and Caucasus. Mizrahi Jews realize and pronounce the letter Het in Hebrew as Het is pronounced in Old Hebrew. Therefore when a Mizrahi Jew read Muhammadan in Bible he or she will read it Muhammadan and nothing else because the letter Het is pronounced in original ancient Hebrew. This is the basis for why some Jews say that is written Muhammadan in Bible songs of songs and other Jews say Mchmdim, Makamadim or Mukmadim. But of course in original ancient Hebrew Het is pronounced as Het and nothing else. Mizrahi Jews has preserved Hebrew Het pronunciation as Het because they have all the time been living together with Arabs. Het is the eighth letter of the Semitic alphabet Abjads. Semitic alphabet Abjads includes Hebrew Het, Aramaic Het, Syriac Het, and Arabic Ha. One can easily see that the pronunciation of Het is practically the same in Hebrew, Aramaic, Syriac and Arabic. The letter H in the Latin alphabet in fact has its origins in the letter Het. We have shown two Hebrew varieties Ashkenazi Hebrew and Mizrahi Hebrew and presented evidence to show the difference in pronunciation of the sounds regarding the letter Hebrew Het. What is the meaning of lovely? Lovely meanings are awesome beautiful divine five-star choice high class, noble, excellence, prime, immense, gym dandy, marvelous, grand, great quality, sensational, splendid, stellar, superb, superior, terrific, tip-top, top of the line, unsurpassed, wonderful. To say someone is lovely is to praise that being thus lovely his is praise. It is exactly what the name Muhammad means in Arabic the praised one. We do not see the name Muhammad in indifferent Bibles translated as the praised one. However it is translated as lovely. Is it out of ignorance or are someone knowingly hiding the truth? Ancient Hebrew and Arabic are sister languages many words are pronounced the same way. Almost all alphabetic letter pronunciations are alike. Hebrew letters that make the name Muhammad in Bible songs of songs 5, 10, 16 are pronounced Meme and Het and Meme and Dalit. These letters are the one and only letters that make the name Muhammad in original ancient Hebrew. There is no other way. In Arabic the same letters Meme and Ha. Meme. Dal exist. These letters are the only letters used to make the name Muhammad in Arabic there is no other way. The numeric value of the word Muhammad in both Arabic and Hebrew is the same. Numeric value 40 for meme and Numeric value 8 for ha And numeric value 40 for meme And numeric value 4 for dal If we sum up the numeric value 40 Plus 8 Plus 40 Plus 4. We get 92 in Hebrew and Arabic. Why should the name Muhammad in Hebrew and Arabic not mean the same the praised one? 
Let there be no doubt Muhammad in ancient Hebrew and Arabic mean the same the praised one and the word lovely translation is quite close to it. The word Muhammadim used in Bible means the praised one. If someone asks a Jewish rabbi how the word is pronounced he will say Muhammadim. If one looks into different Hebrew dictionaries on internet and translates the word from Hebrew into English the answer will be Muhammadim. If one asks an expert skilled in original Hebrew alphabet the answer will be Muhammadim. If one asks Mizrahi Jews how the word is pronounced they will say Muhammadim. Any person trying to reject the truth about Muhammadan present in Bible is a misleader. It is very hard for some unjust Christians and some unjust Jews to accept Muhammadan written in Bible. Their rejection is based on the belief that the Bible Songs of Songs, Poem of Poems 5 10 16 describes Jesus and Solomon Suleiman. Christians say it is prophesizing Jesus and Jews say it refers to Solomon. The question will then consequently be if the Bible Songs of Songs 5 10 16 describes Jesus and Solomon Suleiman then why is the name Muhammadim mentioned in it? Why not Jesus and Solomon Suleiman names? Why try to hide the name Muhammadim and translate it into lovely in English when it is clearly written Muhammadim? Jewish Interpretations of Muhammadim There are hundreds of different theological, philosophical interpretations made by Jews regarding their holy of holiest scripture called Songs of Songs, Poem of Poems. None of them clarifying one stand, which Jewish interpretation should one believe in. Christian Interpretations of Muhammadim There are hundreds of different theological, philosophical interpretations made by Christians regarding Holy of Holiest Scripture called Songs of Songs, Poem of Poems. None of them clarifying one stand, which Christian interpretation should one believe in. The Songs of Songs is generally understood by Jews and Christians as a metaphor of love between God and His Beloved. Why is God naming His Beloved as Mohammedan and not Solomon or Jesus in Holy of Holiest Scripture called Songs of Songs, Poem of Poems 516? The answer is simple, all Mohammedan was beloved by Allah. Thus when Allah before the creation of universe made the holy book Torah, the holy book Zabur, the holy book Evangel, and the holy book Quran he Allah wrote all Muhammadan names in them. The Bible that exists today is a collection of different books, in these books Torah and Evangel is included. Torah and Evangel that Allah wrote before creation of universe are in our time corrupted versions of the original that exists among Jews and Christians, yet the name Muhammadan is present in Bible. Allah has established in Holy Quran that he sends his blessings on Holy Prophet Muhammad out of love and made it compulsory on believers to do the same. Holy Prophet have communicated in Sunni books that sending blessings on him is incomplete if it only sent on him, his family must also be included. Five-time Islamic prayer is not accepted by Allah if one does not send these blessings on the Holy Prophet Muhammad and his family. All Muhammad's Muhammadan was present in the knowledge of God Allah before the creation of universe. Allah loved them and they loved Allah a love without an end. That because Allah created all Muhammad's Muhammadan when there was no beginning and no end, just limitless love of Allah. He created them all in his own image, the only difference between them and he is that he Allah was the creator and they were the created. They worshipped him Allah and bowed to their creator. Then God Allah created universe in love of Muhammad's. All Muhammad's was created Allah the Most High Ones, thus they are all Ali in essence. The name Ali on moon is displaying all Muhammad's elevated identity that no one can match. It was this identity Holy Jesus' appearance Shabihir called on cross when he said Ali, Ali, Lama Sabakthani in Christian Bible. 
It is this identity we find in the form of Mohammedan in the Bible in the Songs of Songs that the Prophet Solomon used as his prayer and Jews still use. Chapter 58 and 59 Total of 126 Chapters Ali Rizvi is author of book titled The Sign on Moon Has Been Revealed, Islam Will Take Over the World. The book titled the sign on moon has been revealed, Islam will take over the world. Can be downloaded from www.alinameonmoon.com.